This season, our must-haves, we believe you need to have a strong voice of authority. A bold shoulder, whether it's a jacket, on a coat, in a knit, or in a blouse. We also believe it's a time to invest in leather. The ubiquitous Perfecto jacket or a simple sheath dress in leather. Buy something in knit, whether it's a beautiful structured knit dress, a tailored knit jacket, or layer with enveloping knits. We also love something beaded. Add a little bit of sequin to gray flannel and then add a knit sweater. Have a little bit of sequins dripping out under a jacket. When it comes to accessorizing, we're going to actually accent our face with what we're calling the collar effect. And that is in a bold collar necklace that just frames your face or in a full bib style necklace. It's a season to belt it and show off your waist, creating almost a peplum effect or belt a beautiful sheath dress. You're going to have a beautiful handheld bag and I think the best ones to invest are in beautiful leather or exotic skins. These again will be iconic pieces. And the last one, we're gonna rock it up with what we're calling the boot legging. And that's actually a stretch boot that goes anywhere from the top of the knee to way up to the top of your thigh. But the idea is to take each of these, add them to your wardrobe, and make sure you wear it with your own personal code. Fall 2009 is an exciting season. We're going to see a return to beautiful classic pieces. Out of New York, we're bringing in Jason Wu. He's kind of a modern young couture in his feeling. We also are bringing in a new collection called Fee. P-H-I. It has kind of a rocker edge to it, beautiful tailoring, beautiful constructions, but a lot of zipper and utilitarian detail on it. And then of course, Joseph Altazura. Beautiful sculpted clothing with a grown-up, aggressive feeling. This is strong clothes, and you're gonna see the talent that this young designer has. It was very much about the intersection of the silhouettes of the 1940s and the 1980s strong-shouldered, whittle waist, and very body-conscious dressing of those times. I think that it was more of an emotional response to what was going on in the world. I think that I wanted something that would make women feel glamorous and beautiful. Well, we have a lame look. It's one of the last looks in the show, which you can break down as a top or a skirt, wear it during the day, or you can wear a full look for evening. I think I always knew that Holt Renfrew was a very beautiful and fashion-forward store, but I think just coming here to Toronto really reaffirmed everything. I mean, it's really beautiful.